Now we're going to handle shipping. Now, <clears throat> I like this uh, free plugin from USPS. It kind of calculates shipping for the regular postal service um, and does it by weight for your product, so size for your packages, and things like that. What you want to do is download the free plugin if you want to use um, postal service. Now, obviously, there's UPS, there's DHL, there's FedEx, and all of those have their own respective plugins. And I'm pretty positive they have plugins for WooCommerce. I like to use the regular regular mail. So um, while we're on the shipping topic for now, I'm going to go to plugins real quick and just download the USPS shipping calculator, I believe it's called. It might be something else. Um, so we're going to add a new plugin and look for USPS Simple. I think that's what it is. USPS Simple. Yep. So as you see, it's USPS Simple Shipping for WooCommerce. Um, install now. And what this does is it, it brings in the, um, the services from the post office, such as Priority Mail, Express Mail. Um, they have different kinds. Um, and it brings them in. And it takes the product information that you program into your product, such as the weight, which I believe mostly the weight. And it takes the weight of the product and where you're sending it from, where you're sending it to, and it, and it calculates what that shipping would be. So you can have your customer pay for shipping on the site. Well, basically reimburse you for the shipping. Also, they pay you up front for it. And if, so, for instance, if your customer pays for priority mail, or priority shipping the ethical thing to do would be to get your product go to the post office and then pay for priority shipping because they paid for it so you pay for it obviously they reimbursed you for that um, the non-ethical thing to do would be if somebody pays for express or priority or pays for a higher tier of shipping and you go to the post office and send it for the lowest like you know ground or something that's not ethical you know obviously and they're paying for it to get it fast and if you do ground, it might take three to four days, whatever the case. So we don't want to do that. But once you get uh, the USPS simple, simple shipping for WooCommerce, you want to go to the settings for that. And this is where you will pick the types of um, things to offer. It's basically taking us to the shipping section of WooCommerce. Um, so you would enable it, put your postal code, commercial rates, obviously. Um, and here's where... You can choose each one. You don't have to have all of these. If you have all of these enabled, when you when your customer is going through the process and trying to ship, they're going to have all these options available to them. I don't think that it doesn't look right. It's just way too much going on. So I would disable most of them and just have the pro, you know the main ones. So for instance, Priority Mail Express. Um, you can just have Priority Mail Express. Um, you know, these things, they may be very specific for certain reasons, but I, I don't think that most people need care that much. Priority mail, you can just have priority mail. Uncheck all of these. But if you have a specific reason and you know what these, what these specific things are for and you want to offer them, by all means, have them checked. But I would, I would not have them all checked um, because your, your shopping page and your shipping section of the, of the checkout is going to be just full of all of these options and it's going to be confusing first class let's say you're sending letters postcards or whatever you know obviously you would have these checked i'm we're not going to have any first class at least for what i'm doing so i'm unchecking all of them uh you could do ground advantage and retail ground um i would keep those uh and then library mail and media mail i don't know what those mean um, but i'm pretty sure we're pretty covered with the choices that we have so for here it's going to just be four you know four options you could get express Priority or ground and retail ground. Actually, I don't even know where retail ground is, so I'm just going to have one ground. Um, but if you want to do your research on these, I'm sure there are considerations to be made for these items. I don't know. I just know I'm pretty good with ground advantage, pretty good with priority, and pretty good with Mail Express. And out of all those three, ground advantage tends to be the cheapest. So if my customer chooses ground advantage because they want to be cheap with their shipping, when I go to the post office, I'm going to choose ground advantage. That's how that works. Click save changes and your shipping is pretty much set up if you're using USPS. And again, um, there's, there's others, there's UPS, there's FedEx, there's DHL, there's all these other guys. 
Um, if you want to do local pickup, you can. I don't recommend it. If you have a storefront, you can set that up to where they go buy it and then you get a notification. Just hold the item in your store. Um, and you have all these other options here. You have shipping zones. If you want to uh, ship to different cities and, and charge a flat rate for those, you can. But again, we just set it up with the USPS Simple. So as far as shipping is concerned, we are good to go. So you don't have to worry about that there.